Hey guys, I'm back with another tested recipe and this week I'm trying Mary Berry Sticky Toffee Pudding. She is the absolute queen of desserts and before it got too summery, I wanted to make one of her pudding recipes. Now I've never actually made sticky toffee pudding. I thought Mary was the go-to. I've had a look at her recipe and it looks so easy and simple. I love lots of her recipes. Most of them are just chuck them in the bowl and mix them together. So I've got all of my ingredients here. I'm gonna start by adding some butter and some sugar into my bowl. I'm following Mary's recipe on the BBC Food page. I'll leave that link down below so you can make this after the video. I'm gonna crack in my two eggs. Now, even though she's using self-raising flour in this recipe, she's also got some bicarbonate of soda and baking powder going in. So I wonder how this will affect the pudding. Now it doesn't say anything about sifting these dry ingredients. I usually do, but I'm gonna go with Queen Mary as she always knows what's right. Before we start beating, I'm gonna add in the black treacle. I've never cooked with this before. I've always wanted to though, because I absolutely love the packaging. This just reminds me of a little paint tin. You've gotta really get a knife in there to get the lid off. It's super sticky, but I think this is what's gonna give it that rich toffee flavor. It smells interesting, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. If you've never watched one of my tested videos, I just like to try out a recipe for the first time on camera so I can talk through any problems I have or any strange things that occur. Some recipes don't have that many instructions, so I like to tell you a bit more and then we can talk about it in the comments box. Right, all I've got to do now is to beat that together before I gradually add in my milk. As soon as I started beating that, the smell of the mixture was so delicious. It's a really dark color, but that's what you would expect from a sticky toffee pudding. Now, all I've got to do is pour in the milk gradually and then whisk it again until it's well mixed. Let's go. It looks a tiny bit curdled, but I'm sure that's fine once it's in the oven. I've got to pop that into my oven-proof dish, which I've greased with some butter. This can now go in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. Just like the sponge recipe, Mary has made the sauce super simple and so easy, anyone could make this. I've got all of my ingredients and I've got to pop them into a saucepan. So I've got some butter and muscovado sugar like last time. She doesn't say when to make the sauce, but I'm gonna get ahead and make it now while my sponge is in the oven. It actually says in the recipe, you can make the recipe a day ahead and the sauce up to three days ahead, which is really good if you're short for time. Now the rest of my ingredients for the sauce are some black treacle and some cream. I've now got to stir this over a low heat until the sugar has dissolved and the butter has melted and then I bring it to a boil and stir it for a minute. My sponge is out of the oven and it looks absolutely perfect and delicious and it has made my kitchen smell amazing. I checked it after 35 minutes, my skewer came out a little bit damp so I popped it back in for two minutes. So mine took about 37 minutes to cook. So just check yours after 35 minutes as you might not need the full 40 minutes. I'm gonna check my sauce. All the butter and sugar has melted so I'm gonna raise that heat and let it bubble for a minute. Half of this is now gonna get poured straight onto the sponge. That's gonna soak up into that sponge and it'll be delicious and moist. And then the rest is going into a serving jug ready for serving later. So I serve mine with some extra sauce and Mary says either some cream or some ice cream. I've gone for some double cream. I love the combination. I'm super excited to try this. I absolutely love sticky toffee pudding. It's one of my favorites. So if this is a good recipe, I know I'm definitely gonna be making this again.
This is absolutely delicious. It reminds me just of the sticky toffee pudding I used to have at school. That was always my favorite sticky toffee pudding. It's delicious, it's smooth, the sponge is so moist, but that's probably because we've had it soaking in that sauce and it's absolutely delicious. This is definitely a recipe I'm going to be making again and again. So that is how you make Mary Berry sticky toffee pudding. Thank <laughs> you.